thing with British wrestling with me, even though I was from America, I was always like a true student of the game. Like when everyone else was watching WWE Attitude Era stuff, uh, I got lucky that my older brothers were tape traders. So I, I was getting stuff with Johnny Saint, Johnny Kidd, and stuff with the original Black Tiger and stuff like that from World of Sports. So I got really involved in that British style when I was younger. And that's why like growing up, like everyone was like, oh, I like Bret Hart, I like Shawn Michaels. I was a Fit Finley guy, I was a William Regal guy. Like those were all the guys I liked because they were violent and they are real. And like, that's just what really like brought me into wrestling. Still to this day, that's like what I love about wrestling, that style of wrestling. From me originally coming over here when I was 20 years old in 2008 to now, like British wrestling is the hottest thing in indie wrestling. Like, not just indie wrestling, I'd say like everyone says, what's the next wrestling boom? The Attitude Era was the wrestling boom in the 90s. The Hulkamania era was the was the boom in the 80s. Like everyone's like, what's the, what's the new wrestling boom? Right now I think it's British wrestling. More stars are getting discovered, like, and they're going over to the United States and becoming bigger stars than the United States guys because they know a style that the American guys don't know. And if the American guys do know it, they don't do it as good as the British guys. And for them to be able to, like, come full circle and, like, actually, like, right now, I think there's more eyes on British wrestling than there ever has been, possibly ever in history, even in the world of sports days, because with YouTube and everything else, like, the British style of wrestling is just getting plugged out to the masses. If you're a wrestling fan, it's one click away.